so i'll be updating you guys on uh, how the champions league is shaping out for next season 2022-2023 first of all um, the russian teams will not participate next year it's been confirmed as you can see here and uh, or in Europa League or Conference League and any European trophy, any other competition. So, I'll be telling you right now the teams that are directly in the group stage so far. Manchester City, who of course are in the Champions League semi-final right now. They, they're finishing first or second in the Premier League. And Liverpool, so far the only two English teams have confirmed themselves in the top four. In Spain, there's only Real Madrid. So far, of course, the Madridistas who are playing Man City. So Liverpool, Man City, Real Madrid are in the semi-final of the Champions League. So it makes sense that they're already in the Champions League uh, for next season. They're, they're very good teams. In, in Serie A, actually, all four teams have confirmed uh, top four. So AC Milan, who had not been in Champions League for seven years before last for this season. So twice in a row is pretty cool. Inter Milan. Uh, who were not very good in these past seasons in the uh, Champions League. They finally have uh, gone past the group stage this season. Let's see if they can improve on that. Napoli, who had missed out last season on the last game of the season. They just needed a win against, I think, Hayes Verona, and they they bottled it. And Juventus, who are Champions League regulars, if we're being honest. It's been weird not to see them. So all four Italian teams in. Uh, Bayern are and Dortmund are the two teams in Germany to have confirmed. There could be five teams because potentially Frankfurt uh, could win the Europa League. But right now, Dort Bayern Munich and Dortmund, and also Leipzig if they win the Europa League and don't finish in top four, right now they're fifth. In France, there's PSG, and in uh, Portugal, Porto and Sporting Lisbon. Porto have are a, a point away from winning the league. Sporting, who had were rarely in Champions League this recent years, before they used to be a lot, but recently they've not been as much. So it's good to see them back to back Champions League. They got, um, to put it lightly, uh, they got smashed by uh, Man City, to put it very lightly. Uh, Arabi Salzburg are directly in. And then the others, so there's third and fourth in Premier League. Right now there's Chelsea and Arsenal. Let's see if they can confirm. Second, third, fourth. There's Barcelona second right now. Sevilla are third, while Atletico and Madrid are fourth. So let's see if they can push on and get in the Champions League. In um, third for Germany, there's Bayer Leverkusen, who have not been this year, but are quite a bit in the Champions League usually. And uh, Freiburg, who very, 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 very uh, need Champions League, if at all. I'm going to make a bit of research on that. But right now they're fourth. Uh, they played Leverkusen on the final game, which is going to be very interesting. Um, second in Ligue 1 right now is Marseille. They're a really, really good team this year. Not at home, though. Away, they're very good. At home, they're pretty bad, which is interesting. Uh, and right now, Ajax are top of the league in Eredivisie. Royal Union saint gilles are top of the league in Belgium, which is stunning. It's their first season in the first division since in the last 50 years. To, to tell you exactly how huge this is. And Scotland, uh, since the Russian Premier League first won't be in directly, it's Scotland that took their place. First in Scotland, which Celtic are six points clear with three games to go with Rangers, so it looks like it'll be Celtic. Um, in the playoff round, Ukraine already finished their league because they had to suspend it. And so the first place back then was Shakhtar, so Shakhtar will win the league and are in the champion, uh, Champions League champ uh, playoff round. They usually make Champions League group stage, so it's normal to see them back there. Trubs and Sport just won the league um, yesterday. Or, no, yeah, yesterday. So for the first time in decades, I saw their celebration. It was pretty incredible. Uh, of course, playoff round of Champions League means you at least have Europa League group stage. So they'll be in European group stage next season. They had not been this season because they were lost to Roma in the playoff round of the conference league i like i really like them so i'm very excited to see they absolutely dominated the league they were they had a run of a lot of wins in a row and it's it's good to see them back in europe 
uh, in the third qualifying round seems to have already qualified so far Benfica who have officially finished third in the Portuguese league third qualifying round means you at least have conference league group stage because if you lose that you're in the playoff round of Europa League if you lose that conference league group stage so they will have European football group stage at least and Sturm Graz also um, Sturm Graz don't usually get European football group stage but they'll get it this year they have officially finished second. Let's see if Benfica and Stringretz can get Champions League. Stringretz, that would be incredible if they get Champions League. Second qualifying round, so far Dynamo Kiev, because as you know, as I told you before, uh, Ukraine have already finished their league, so and they finished second. Uh, and Zurich won the league also this weekend in Switzerland for the first time in a long, long, long time. It's incredible that they won the league in front of young boys in Basel. So, Fair play to them, and I'm excited to see. Hopefully, they do get European football group stage. I don't really see them getting Champions League uh, group stage, but at least Europa League. But they could still get Champions League group stage. I hope they do. In the first qualifying round, a lot of teams already qualified. Ludogorets for winning the league. They have actually been in Champions League a couple of seasons. Um, so let's see if they can do it again. Ferenc Baros have actually made the Champions League twice in a row. Let's see if they can make it three, and it's very impressi- impressive to make the Champions League from the first qualifying round. Um, they have to win four, four, uh, four rounds in a row without losing. So it's impressive if you make it from the first qualifying round. Slova and Bratislava, who've won the Slovakian League, so fair play to them. Shamrock Rovers, who won the Irish League. Uh, I, I'm, I don't think Rover, Shamrock Rovers will get Champions League football. I'm sorry. I don't see them getting group stage. Uh, prove me wrong, though. Shamrock Rovers. Sheriff Tiraspo, of course, the big, big, big winners of last year's, uh, this year's Champions League. For make, to beat Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu is incredible. The first time an, an um, Andorran team, or no, Moldovan team, has ever made the Champions League group stage. And they won their first two games. They were in Europa League on loss and penalties. In the group in playoff rounds of the champion of uh, the Europa League, so very impressive uh, European uh, journey for Sheriff Sheriff. Well, let's see if they can add on that this season. I hope they do. Lincoln Redims, they were actually in the Conference League group stage, so fair play to them. I mean, they were not very good in there, but they made it, and that's all that matters. So fair play to them. They're in the first qualifying round of the Champions League. I, again, I don't see them making it to the group stage, but you never know. Um, Shakhtar Sologorsk have officially qualified for the Champions League first qualifying round. Let's see how far they can go. Zalgiris have made it. They actually were very close to conference in group, st- group stage as they were in the playoff round, I believe. So they won the Lithuanian League. Shakhtar Sologorsk, it's the, it's the Belarus League. Shkupi have made it. They've won the Macedonian League. Let's see what they can do. Linfield have won the, uh, the Northern Irish League. So let's see how far they can go. Hibernians have won the Malte- Mal- Maltese League. Is it Maltese? Yeah, Maltese. And, uh, yeah, again, like, Sheriff Terrace will made it this season, so we never know. Any of these teams can make it. Any of these teams can make history. Sujeska Niskic. Usually I know a couple of these. I, 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 in here, apart from this team, I know, like, I've heard of every team. Of course, heard of. I don't know the players too much. But Suteshka and Iskic, I've never heard of them. So that is fair play to them. Actually, I would like to see uh, their history. Hmm. Yeah, they really don't have many players that have Wikipedia page. Um, UFA competitions. They've actually played four seasons in the in the in the Champions League. Of course, qualifiers, not group stage. And actually, ten games means they've at least w- uh, gone through seven qualifying round points, because it would have been eight games otherwise. Europa League. They've played in six seasons. They're of course the qualifiers. I don't think they've ever played group stage though. But let's see if they can if they can do it this season. You have competition only eight. Hmm, here it says more. Uh, maybe that's group stage then. So maybe they didn't do a group stage of uh, UFA Europa League. It's 
that's well done on them for making it uh, to the Champions League first qualifying round. Let's see how far they can go. Bodo Glimps, another historical team, a team that has done a, a magnificent journey in uh, Europe this season. They were knocked out, were knocked out only in the quarterfinal of the Conference League, which is sensational, to Roma. They actually won the first leg. So unlucky for them, but let's see if they can go to the Champions League. Hopefully they do. Dinamo Batumi, who won the Georgian League. Let's see how far they can go to. The New Saints uh, from the Welsh League. Malmo, who are actually, they were made Champions League this season, and actually they've, they've made the Champions League. Like they usually at least get European football, like Europa League. Let's see how far they can go. Tobol, I believe Costa, uh, FC Tobol, from Kazakhstan. Uh, Zeruzhins, Zeruzhinsky, I'm not very good at pronouncing. Mostar from uh, Bosnia and Herze Herzegovina. RFS, Latvia. And HJK, Hoika. Michael Toxville, while you're watching. Well, I hope uh, your team makes it to the Champions League. Vikingur Reykjavik uh, from Iceland is in the preliminary round. And FC Levadia from Estonia is also. So these are the teams that are confirmed official in the Champions League knockout uh, um, qualifiers. I'm very excited to see how far these teams can go. Um, in the I'm going to tell you the teams I think will make the Champions League from the, um, from the qualifiers. I think Shakhtar will. But actually, it's really hard because I need to see the, the teams. Benfica might. I don't see Sterngrads and um, Zurich making it. First qualifying round is really on. I can't really predict since they have four games. I can't really predict that. Shrabs on sport, though, have a really good chance. They've got a really good team. Hopefully, they don't get their players poached too much. Um, preliminary round. If a team makes it from preliminary rounds, I'll be very, very impressed. But yeah, that is it. Uh, I'm doing something a bit different because no one's talking about next season's Champions League diver right now, so I won't be the only one that talks about it. Um, and yeah, so please, if you've liked this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to be um, doing that for Europa League and Conference League and also uh, updating you guys on the leagues that no one talks about, like the Cyprus, C Cyprus League, uh, all these leagues, all of them, even even top five leagues, but I want to start with the other leagues that no one talks about, because there's some very interesting, um, very interesting stories in them.